a week, please do not weigh yourself every day. It's it's a toxic habit. I really don't recommend it. Hey there, my hands up, my pretty little cobras, and welcome back to the Cobra's Nest. For those of you who are new, my name is Mignon Cobra, and I make minimalism videos. So I actually have a subscriber request today. So a subscriber, Leia, has actually asked me how to specifically lose weight. So that's something that I have a lot of experience in. As you guys know, I used to have an ED, but now I have like one of the best relationships with my body that I've ever had in my entire life. And I figured I wanted to share with you guys actually Actually, a lot of tips. I actually have 20 tips that I wanted to share with you guys on how you can sustain your weight loss in a really healthy way without damaging your body and hating yourself and doing all of the things that I did wrong in my journey. So if that sounds good to you, let's get right into the video. Let's get it. Let's go. So just a quick little bit of background info for anybody who's new here. So I started dieting in, I think about grade nine or grade 10, and I didn't stop dieting all the way till 2019. So that is almost 10 years of dieting and I've definitely had my ups and downs. I definitely reached my goal weight, which was hundred pounds. It was not healthy for my height. If you guys are wondering, I'm 160. It was way too low. I lost my period. I grew hair all over my body and developed vertigo. And now I am at a much healthier, happier weight of 120. So I'm gonna be sharing you with you guys how to lose weight in a healthier method if that is something that you want and also avoid the pitfalls okay so number one slow and steady I really do think that weight loss should be done in a sustainable and healthy method I know that everybody talks about that and when I was in the dieting mind frame I didn't believe them either I just wanted to get to my goal weight as soon as possible I just wanted that you know hot girl bod that banging body like I, I didn't want to wait like I wanted it now like I wanted my hot girl summer now and if I could crash diet in a couple months and gain it in a couple months then that was good for me but actually guys the most sustainable way of living is something that you can do for a life and I think slow and steady does it well I think that you should really only lose one pound a week I think otherwise you really do mess up your metabolism which is something that happened to me I kept yo-yo dieting because like honestly I'd lose the weight my metabolism would be so shot from my fast diets that I would rebound and gain all of it back and and then some and it just it, it's just psychologically not to mention physically just like not good for you I would just feel so terrible every time my body would start accumulating weight from like eating like essentially nothing when other people could eat other things because essentially I ruined my metabolism trying to do these fast crash diets I mean I got the body that I wanted but I could just never seem to keep it and and when I would keep it I had to maintain these ridiculously low calorie diets which are just so unsustainable and I don't recommend that for anybody. That actually brings us into point number two. You should probably aim to lose no more than one pound a week. That is like the healthy scientific recommendation and I wholeheartedly believe that. Like I don't lose weight anymore. I'm very happy with my weight but if I were to lose weight again I would not recommend anything more than one pound a week. I know that there are some crazy results out there on the internet saying like how I lost I don't even know 20 pounds in a month which is fantastic. I'm not here knocking on anybody else's journey but I'm just speaking from personal experience I would not recommend losing weight any faster than that I have lost weight faster than that and I can just tell you it, it ended in misery so I just I don't recommend it if it works for you fantastic but I would definitely stick to that because like honestly otherwise you're just gonna end up disrupting your metabolism and then you're just gonna get fatter than than how you started and what the hell was the point okay number three exercise don't just starve so I know a lot of people always advocate for like these diets on the internet where you just diet without any exercise I mean yes if you really do hate exercising fine whatever but for me personally I have found that I have been able to eat regularly and still maintain a great physique because I exercise and I I don't know just for me personally I love to eat and I like to enjoy food and I just can't imagine a life where I have to restrict what I eat just because I don't want to get up and go for a run for me personally I just feel a lot better and a lot healthier knowing that I can eat everything and I have a higher metabolism because I work out that's actually one of the other things why I recommend working out and not just starving yourself when you starve yourself or you reduce calorie intake you've actually slowed down your metabolism so you actually can't burn food much and so you end up putting on weight versus um, exercise actually increases your metabolism rate because you've increased muscle mass so I I feel like you win with exercise like not only do you increase your endorphins which is fantastic but you gain muscle you look better you can actually look a lot better at a heavier weight because of muscle tone because you work out which i think is great so yeah you want that extra muscle it's gonna up your metabolism you'll be able to eat more if you've seen like those girls that work out they eat a lot especially those like 10,000 challenges yeah because you have the muscle to to take on that extra calorie surplus and so like let's just win at life i really don't think slashing your calories is the way to go okay number four 
implement a reasonable fasting window i'm not here don't, saying don't fast like i fast i usually break my fast around like 11 ish in the morning before i used to be a big breakfast advocate i'd have my breakfast between 7 or 8 in the morning but one of the things that i actually still maintain even though i don't diet anymore i actually happen to really enjoy that fasting window i used to do these terrible fasting windows i used to do omad which i highly do not recommend as a woman that's going to seriously disrupt your hormones omad is not from my personal experience but have a window maybe you have like a later brunch lunch then you have your lunch or a late lunch and then you have like a good reasonable like dinner like it doesn't have to be very late and you can always shift your window sometimes i eat like later in the day and so i uh, have my dinner later in the day like I'm, I'm always shifting it if i eat earlier i eat earlier i think like an eight hour window is a very healthy window you don't need to do these crazy two hour three hour feeding windows for me it really disrupted my hormones and caused binging episodes which is just it's not fun your self-esteem takes a hit when you are out of control eating so i just i don't recommend strict fasting windows be reasonable with it and you will definitely have an easier time okay number five don't weigh yourself every day that is a super super big tip that seriously messed up my mental health for like years i would say even like decades i would weigh myself every single day when i did my recovery back in 2019 i put away the scale and i have not weighed myself i didn't weigh myself for like three years i, I just recently weighed myself because i went to the doctors and they weighed me like i didn't even know they were like yeah you weigh 120 i was like oh okay thank you weighing myself every single day it had it had driven me to the point of wanting to end myself like i'm not even joking my self-worth was determined first thing in the morning by the numbers on the scale and that was the worst way to live I, I absolutely hated it i'm not saying don't weigh yourself but if you must for tracking purposes weigh yourself once a week nothing special is going to be happening on the day to day you want to see like that change at the end of like say pick a sunday or and just weigh yourself on that once a week please do not weigh yourself every day it's it's a toxic habit i really don't recommend it and number six try keto see if that works for you i know that keto is not for everybody keto happened to work for me my body feels a lot better under keto that is just something that to my surprise turned out to be actually really nice but i know that keto isn't for everybody so give it a try see how you feel with it if you find that keto isn't for you don't feel like you need to do keto in order to lose weight like you can definitely reach your goal weight with calorie control like honestly at the end of the day it's calories in calories out there are plenty of times where i put on a lot of weight because i was eating a lot of you know keto bars and keto food it's but if you do want to consider keto i would recommend it it is quite the nice hack i feel like it does kind of make weight loss a lot more i guess manageable at least for me like the insulin spikes that i would get from carbohydrates was just not that fun because like i would eat and every two to three hours i'd get hungry again and it's kind of hard to manage your weight when you're constantly hungry constantly thinking about food so for me i'm i'm a lot more like my blood sugar levels are a lot more stable with keto so what i'm saying is give it a try see if it works for you if it does amazing if it doesn't that's fine it's not the end of the world if it isn't for you okay number seven avoid trends be reasonable figure out what works for your lifestyle so i have done every trend under the sun like i have been vegan i have been like super ketogenic i've done carnivore i've done like omad look i honestly i have tried so many trends now how do i eat i don't eat according to trends i'm very like, normal in how i eat like i wake up do a bit of work for a couple hours when i get peckish or hungry around like maybe 11 or a little bit before noon i go and i eat something and then i'll have lunch around like two to three and then like i'll have like a normal dinner between like six to eight like it's just it's so ridiculous how i went from so many different types of like eating styles to just come back to eating like a normal person i eat eat all food groups like i eat carbohydrates i just want to say a little caveat i'm allergic to gluten so it's not that i don't eat carbohydrates i eat like rice based bread like gluten free bread just because like it turns out like I, I my skin had like the worst rashes from gluten i'm saying like unless you have like an actual medical reason for not eating foods i don't think that you need to eliminate food groups again like i'm not here to judging people i was vegan for two years if you really are against eating animal products from a moral standpoint i totally respect that i'm just saying generally speaking trying these trends in order to lose weight and it's just probably not the way to go about it you're gonna end up developing a lot of weird binging behaviors i started binging on bread there's a period of time i started binging on meat just if you can avoid it try to be reasonable with these trends okay and number three dress the self-love don't restrict and don't diet out of self-hatred let me tell you i thought if i hated my body enough somehow that was going to motivate me to lose all the weight under the world and that was it really didn't work like it would for a period of time and then i would just be so upset with myself when i would fail or not reach my goal weight fast enough and then i just 
go back to eating crap and then hating myself and it was just like a really terrible cycle and I really don't recommend that for anybody so I think what you need to do is figure out some ways to practice self-love for myself I decided that I was gonna love myself no matter my weight so I gained weight and practiced loving myself for about two years at a much higher weight that previous I guess dieting that would never have accepted like I could never think I could love myself at a higher weight so now my weight is pretty stable because like if I gain a little weight I don't punish myself or like pinch my like stomach or like pinch my arms and then run to the kitchen and eat and punish myself with food like it, it just sounds so ridiculous saying these things on camera but these were like the things that I used to do it just it just like it breaks my heart that like I used to live my life like that and I don't want that for anybody so I think that addressing self-love would be a good thing to do again but I'm not saying like so don't diet just love yourself that's not it if you're not happy with where you are you should definitely change I definitely advocate for changing and loving yourself whatever that may look like for you but I'm just saying address the self-love don't diet from a place of hate okay and number nine enjoy the journey you guys probably don't know but the dieting journey that I was on was so miserable it was I used to document it on my Instagram and I think that's probably why my Instagram never grew I was never happy I was always so self-critical of my body I was never good enough if you're gonna try to lose some weight try to make it like a good and positive experience like be creative create meals that make you happy put on clothes that make you feel good at your current weight not your ideal self like don't do a lot of those nasty toxic habits that just is gonna make the whole process unbearable it's really not worth it that hot bod at the end if you reach there in a painful journey you're not going to be happy with the body because you're just gonna think like wow what a miserable experience so I think that figure out a lifestyle that makes you happy that you feel sustainable because honestly I think half of the beauty of finding a way to have a nice body that you're happy in is enjoying the journey okay number 10 uh, on the flip side a little bit of tough love short-term pleasure for long-term pain and vice versa you make the decision decision so I actually think I wanted to kind of throw that in there while I do advocate for self-love I do think though that a little bit of short-term pain is probably good like if you're the type of person to sit on the couch all day eating junk I don't think that that's necessarily healthy either there was a period of time in my guest recovery where I was being super lazy and just sitting on the couch all day I don't think that that's healthy either so I think that uh, going for a run working out maybe eating less junk would be a little bit helpful in your journey if that is where you are in your journey okay number 11 don't restrict food groups I know I just mentioned that but I wanted to mention it again just as its own entire point like unless you have a medical condition I really don't see the point in restricting food groups okay and number 12 don't have forbidden foods don't say like you can never eat ice cream ever again I mean like unless you have like discipline made of steel I didn't when I told myself I couldn't eat certain foods you best believe whether it was a month or a couple months later I would have a binge attack of that food I don't do that anymore now I do a thing where like I just portion control it and they have it on a regular basis not a daily basis but maybe like on a weekend or every other two weeks like I'll have something that I like to eat and I buy ice cream and I buy cookies and I think I have chocolate like every other day I have like a bite-sized piece and I usually eat it after my meal so I don't have as hard of an insulin spike and I'm just like in such a good place like I just don't binge on these things anymore because it's not forbidden and if it's not forbidden I know if I have a bite today I'm gonna be able to have some more the next day and then the next day and then it's like I'm not gonna binge on it because I'm gonna have some tomorrow so it's not that big of a deal it's just I guess it's the mindset so I really don't recommend restricting or having forbidden foods I think maybe just reducing the intake if you have an entire bowl of ice cream try to reduce the portion to something a little bit more moderate okay number 13 don't over exercise while I think it is fantastic that you are super motivated in your weight loss journey but don't do some of the crazy things that I used to do I used to do these things where I would go for runs for like an hour or two hours I don't know what I was thinking I ended up losing my period do something reasonable I think it's better to be consistent have a 20 minute run and do it every you know couple days is way more effective than you ran for an hour once this week and then you never ran again because that was just such a horrible experience consistency is a lot more effective than a big bang that happens sporadically okay number 14 take rest days so for me I used to do workouts every single day and I think I took one day off every three months it was like absolutely ridiculous and unhealthy now I work out a couple times a week as I've mentioned in my videos I think like two to three times a week if I really feel gung-ho I'll, I'll work out Monday to Friday but I definitely take Saturday and Sunday off I need rest days your body needs rest days you don't want to hate working out if it's something that you do every single day you're going to lose your love for it and 
to just why like as somebody who used to be like a workout freak i just don't see the point in working out every single day well, like first of all it's not healthy and second it just it sucks the joy out of it Okay, number 15, if you've started binging, stop dieting. This just means you need a caloric surplus. So your body's very intuitive. It's gonna know you need more calories. So if you find yourself binging, this means that you need to take a break from dieting. You need to reintroduce a calorie surplus into your body because most likely than not, you have slashed too many calories and binging is a symptom of that. Okay, number 16, if you've lost your period, please stop dieting or stop overworking out. You losing your period is not a healthy thing. I definitely recommend seeking a professional. Don't just brush it off. I brushed it off. I think I had lost my period for two years straight and it wasn't until like the second year that I woke up and thought, you know what, this is not normal. Okay, number 17, if you have medical issues regarding, you know, your weight loss journey and stuff like that, I highly recommend seeing a professional or seeing a doctor. Like I'm not a doctor, I'm a dentist. Those are two different things. So I think it is really important to mention things to your doctor because I, I feel for the most part your doctor has your best interests at heart and can give you more medical grade advice than um I don't know some girl on YouTube okay number 18 never prioritize a hot bod over your health I used to prioritize looking good more so than my health and I wrecked my health I lost my period as I've mentioned I grew hair all over my face and my body it was just not a vibe and I wasn't even happy with my body nobody came and pat me on the back and was like good job Nat like you have a hot bod no one did but definitely will was really irritated with me when like he'd have to go to the hospital with me because like i kept getting vertigo attacks so it's just like i think that yes you should have a nice body definitely work on that but please never sacrifice your health for it okay number 19 eat treats in moderation i think if you're on a diet journey weight loss journey you should definitely incorporate and be smart about how you have your treats don't tell yourself you can never have treats ever again and then go ahead and binge on them because you you know i have no self-control and i had one cookie so now i'm just gonna eat the whole bag please don't do that tell yourself treats are part of your weight loss journey you know schedule that in uh, maybe you have a cookie or a whatever it is that you like to eat every third day you know congratulate yourself like i'm not saying use food as a reward for your weight loss it's also like a toxic thing and i don't recommend it but i just don't think that not having treats is the way to go okay and then number 20 is document your journey and you know track your calories but never become obsessive with it if you find yourself becoming obsessive with it i highly recommend taking a break because being obsessive with tracking calories or documenting your journey is going to lead you down a dark path of self-hatred and obsessiveness and it's just not a good place to be to be honest so i highly recommend just enjoy it document it as motivation but never become obsessed if you become obsessed please take a break and i just want to advocate that you don't need to lose weight to be beautiful you are already beautiful and if you want to lose weight for yourself but not for societal aesthetics because honestly that's it's never worth it in the end trends are always changing what's in now is going to be out later so yeah thank you for watching and thank you to leah for the subscriber request i really appreciate it you guys know ask and you shall receive so yeah i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye